Devin, second half just getting underway here. No changes to the starting lineups for the second half of this Friendship Trophy semifinal. Painter heads it back to his goalkeeper. Good to see Troy Hall back in action despite late in the season. Franks clears. Coddington brings it down, but Hayward controls it. Simmons now. Oh, looking for Darrell. He has a. Oh, the flag goes up on the far side. Big center back in. Kaiwan Franks sends it long. Troy Hall sends it back. <clears throat> Moses Steed being pressured by Simmons. Kwame now appears to have shaken off an awkward fall. Oh, he likes that bicycle kick and uh, oh, chance as Hall is down. Signor down the line for Darrell. Hayward to Crane. Back to Jeru Hayward down the line to Darrell. Butterfield is there. Darrell comes up with it. Darrell with a second effort to the back post. Signor chasing in vain. Juan Franks. White goes to his extreme left to Tucker. Tucker, Steed, oh, just over the top. Tumaini Steed. The burst of speed just now. <laughs> Go kick cuts. Hall hey, hey, headed back by Kwame. Simmons works on Simmons. Franks now. Darrell. Oh. Well, we've seen much of this in the first four meetings of these two teams where big strong stocky Kaiwan Franks manhandles Clay Darrell. Darrell's going to be some striker in years to come when he puts on a few pounds but in this instance it's St. George's that are awarded a free kick. Mackie Crane to the back post. Oh, Brangman punches clear. Oh, see, Simmons tries to send it back. So we see Neil Painter, the skipper, overlapping. He's well up front now. Warren heads it forward. Brangman sprays it off to his right to LeJean Simmons. Goes back to Josh Butterfield. Oh, a bit too long from Butterfield. One bounce and into the hands of Troy Hall. <clears throat> Hall looking for Darrell. Darrell tries to bring it down. The whistle goes.
Corvan Tucker. Moses the back to Tucker. In the event that uh, the match is deadlocked at full time, it'll go into extra time. If still deadlock kicks from the penalty spot. So we will have a finalist emerge from this match tonight, one way or the other. Brangman now. Throw in. Six minutes down in the second half or 51st minute. Cougars have the wind at their back this half. See if they can take advantage of that. Free kick, Big Cats. Joshua Butterfield, speedy right back. Good ball, headed out by Jamal Warren. Clay Darrell on the touchline is dispossessed by Simmons. Oh, too much from Simmons. Tamani Steed gives it to Tucker who sends it back in. Oh, no! Was that Coddington? He really, really went at that one. It's here from here that it just skimmed the outer portion of the boot. <clears throat> and a goal kick. Up goes Brangman. Simmons works on Signor. Warren comes in to assist. Throw in Cougars. Butterfield to Simmons. Oh, referee's assistant says. It's a throw in for the Colts. So we see number 11 is coming on for Clay Darrell. Looks to be Alan Douglas Jr. Yes, St. George's make their first substitution. Clay Darrell has been replaced by Alan Douglas Jr. Warren now clears. Simmons, Dickinson. Goes back to Signor. Simmons. Dickinson inside. Oh, for Douglas. But Tucker is there. Attempted clearance by Corvan Tucker as he attempted to tee up. Takes a deflection, but it will be a throw in for the Devonshire Cougars. Butterfield to Simmons. Douglas gets a boot on it. Simmons goes back to Signor. Warren. Only as far as Moses D this time. Brangman. Ball falls right for the Cougars there. To Maney. Gives it to Kwame Steed, but down goes <laughs> Hayward and the whistle goes. <laughs> Mackie Crane. Does a 360 degree turn and <clears throat> Brangman gets a hit on it. Of 
Kwame Steed. Trying to fend off Bassett. The referee blows. Rangman goes wide to Butterfield. Oh, it takes a deflection off of Dickinson. Joshua Butterfield. He has Franks behind him. Franks goes long. Cottington heads it on. Sean Simmons. As Warren comes in. Steal Simmons. It's Steel Simmons. In the center, who's running on to it? Oh, cleared there by Signor. And the offside fl flag goes up. Still deadlock, nil nil. Fifty-seven minutes completed. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Still looking for the first goal in this Friendship Trophy semifinal on BSN. Foul. Foul on Butterfield. See he fouled Dickinson. Ernest Signor. Skims off the head. Oh, right in front of the goal mouth there. Oh, St. George's coach needed was someone to just, the goalkeeper had been beaten, just directed into the back of the net. Throw in St. George's far side. He didn't miss it. Another throw in for the East Enders. Pass it. Kwame Steed. Sends it long. Hall will watch it trickle over the line. Throw in Butterfield. Simmons tries to turn. Free kick Cougars. Coddington goes back post. Oh, Ovan Tucker again trying to tee up. Beaten to the ball. Once again, mounting an attack. Simmons against Signor. Oh, that's a beautiful cross. Well done by Hall. Diving to his right and held on to it.
Crane cleared by Franks. Once again, we want to mention that in the first half in the Shield semi-final, it was Hamilton Parish Hot Peppers 3-0 over the BAA Green Knights to advance to the final against Wolves. Well, John Simmons in the box. Oh, cut out nicely there by Bassett. But it's still Cougars. Tamani goes all the way back to Tucker. Tucker chipping inside the box. The flag goes up. On a cool Wednesday, March night. A birth in the Friendship Trophy final at stake here. Troy Hall with a goal kick. Oh, straight to Coddington. Warren gets a boot on it. Up goes Tucker. Coddington heads it down. Headed out by Signor. Butterfield dabs it forward. Warren is there. Moses Steed. Tries one, it's still in play. Coddington sends it across. Oh, Neil Painter gives up the corner. Cougars with their first corner of the half, second of the match. Tumani Steed low, and oh, he gives it straight to Dickinson. Dickinson, as the Colts try to counter through Alan Douglas Jr., and Douglas unable to control it. Brangman goes back to Franks, goes to his left, looking for White over there. Dickinson flicking it on, trying to get over the head of Franks to Douglas. Hayward now, another Flick trying to lob over the defense. Throw in Colts, Douglas, ooh. It's a goal kick for Devonshire Cougars as they attempt to reach their third final of the season. Brangman. Jay Simmons heads it out. Josh Butterfield to Brangman. Back to Brangman. Douglas goes back, but intercepting is Kwame Steed. Cuttington to Moses. And cut out nicely. Mackie Crane has one. Oh, Douglas is there, but he settled in very quickly into the match. He just now needs to get his efforts on target. Is he going on the spot? Is he going to point to the spot? We'll see what, yes, he's pointing to the spot. It's gonna be a penalty kick. 
He run ran over to see exactly where the player had fallen and in the 65th minute Devonshire Cougars have been awarded a penalty and it looks as if it's going to be player coach Kwame Steed that has the opportunity to put his team out front. Cougars with an excellent opportunity to break the deadlock. He dresses back. Troy Hall prepares. As Steed steps in. Oh, it's 1 0. Devonshire Cougars have taken the lead in the 66th minute. 1 0 to the Big Cats. Costly mistake by the Colts defense. But we want to mention here that in the FA Cup semifinal replay between these two teams, the Colts three times came from behind with a never say die attitude. Can they pull one out of the bag tonight and get back on level terms? Jerron Dickinson, oh, tries one there, but it took a deflection. Butterfield sends it long. As it skimmed off the leg of Signor, throw in Cougars. Devonshire Cougars won. St. George's Colts nil. Throw in Butterfield to Kwame, inside to Brangman. Cut out there by Simmons. It goes to extreme left to Tucker. Tucker advancing, oh, misdirects it. Bassett trying to find Signor. think that uh, St. George's Colts coach Richard Todd would be warming up the likes of an uh, Orande Bascom soon who has a strong boot on him to add some fire firepower up front. Mackie Crane. Butterfield runs it down and keeps it in play. Goes long. Coddington, and he's stripped by Signor, and it's a whistle. <laughs> Moses Steed to Simmons on the right flank. Signor is watching, slips around Simmons. Tommy Steed goes back a few yards to just Butterfield headed out by Painter. Douglas to Crane. Here's Dickinson. That's his area on the left. Oh. Franks. Jerron Dickinson again. Back post. No one there. Haywood takes a shot. Cougars on the counter. Corvon Tucker being watched closely by Bassett. Tucker with a diagonal ball for his player coach. 
and a corner for the Devonshire Cougars. Third corner of the <clears throat> match for the Cougars, second of the half. there oh, for real? <laughs> an attacking move a rear attacking move by Franks shooting just wide of goal Cuttington to Kwame oh he could have done better with that one to me he was just in front of him Bassett Franks sends it long. Jean Simmons watches it. Bounces into the goalkeeper Troy Hall's hands. Hall with a big boot. Brangman. Mackie Crane. Butterfield clears. Douglas. Oh, Jerron Dickinson beats the offside trap. And Dickinson uh, ran into the knee of Brangman. Match getting very vocal for the players after that latest incident in which Dickinson ran into Brangman. Brangman with his right knee up. Right now, Crane, in a sportsmanlike gesture, gives it up to Brangman. Hayward, cut out by Butterfield. Deshaun Simmons on the right flank once again. Signor. Oh. Oh. It's a goal kick. It was already outside. Hall is uh, going to have to be careful down there. He's Brangman now has one. John Simmons oh, trying to feed Coddington. Troll hole throwing it long for Crane. Franks knocks it into touch.
We're in the 76. We're in the 76 minute. 76 minutes completed. Well, St. George's have 14 minutes, maybe 15, with a little injury time to try and level it up. Otherwise, Devonshire Cougars will march into their third final of the season, the Friendship Trophy final. Losing to the North Village Rams in a thrilling match down there at Wellington Oval, the Lee final, kicks via the penalty spot. <clears throat> They will be def oh, they will be defending their FA Cup title. We await to see exactly who they will play between St. David's and Southampton Rangers. And if it remains the way it is, they'll advance to take on North Village Rams in the Friendship Trophy final. can see that the Cougars are preparing to make a substitution. Mark Smith is warming up to come on to the field for the Cougars. Signor to his right to Crane. Crane still keeping it in play. Oh, Moses Steed as it falls to Kwame, lays it back to Zico White. Coddington now, oh, fumbles with it. Jerron Dickinson. Jerron Simmons, oh. As Jamal Warren plays it safe, knocks it into touch here. You can see that Sean Brangman is going to be coming off, and Mark Smith will replace him. All right, Sean. All right, Sean. Throw in Cougars. Pull across there from Kaiwan Franks. He knows that he should have done better with that. Hall with a goal kick into the win. Butterfield bangs it back. Warren gets a hit on it. Time running out on the EastEnders. Can the EastEnders dig deep? And we see, oh, I didn't notice him coming on, but I can see him on the field. Orande Bascom is on the field and in possession right now. Here he goes with a long ball headed out by Zico White. Now we can see another substitution is going to be made. 
by the Cougars. They'll bring on Jesse Seymour. And coming off, it appears to be Corvon Tucker. It's a good strategic move by the Cougars, making one or two substitutions right now. As we see in the professional ranks, burns out the clock a bit. Time running out on St. George's. Coddington. <laughs> Throw in Cougars deep into the St. George's half of the field on the right side. Butterfield in no hurry to speed things up here. Understandably so, burn out the clock. Butterfield calling for one of his teammates to come close to Maney. Back to Butterfield. Under pressure. Here's Mark Smith, turns it inside. Oh, Moses misses it. Bascom tries to send it along. He missed kicks. And Seymour comes up with it. Jesse Seymour with a cross, looking for Tumaney. Shea Simmons a bit lax on it as Moses Steed almost came up with, with it there with a hustling attitude. Jerron Dickinson on the touch line. Oh, surrounded by two, but the flag goes up. Coddington leaves it for Tumaney. Tumaney chipping. Oh, the whistle goes. Going to be coming out. Approaching 40 minutes or 85 minutes. minutes of the half, 85 minutes overall. Teron Dickinson, oh! <laughs> well watched there by Brangwen. He anticipated the move and was quickly on to it as Coddington now darts down the left flank. Tomiko Coddington and well done by Warren, but he's unable to keep it in play. It'll be a corner kick for the Cougars as Jamal Warren did really well to cut out the attack but gave up a corner. Troy Hall, beaten only once tonight in his first match of the season for the St. George's Colts. Mark Smith to his left to Seymour. Seymour over there to Cottington who turns it inside to his player coach. Josh Butterfield now, short ball to Mark Smith, substitute, headed out by Bassett. Oh, a chance for Signal to control it and have possession, misjudged it completely. Throw in, Colts. Bassett down the line, Signor's chasing, 
Franks comes over, heads it down for Seymour. Cut out nicely there by Bassett. Painter heads it forward. Bascom gathers underneath. Well, the flag goes up. The throw quickly taken off the head of Franks. Mark Smith controls it off the thigh. Oh, Bascom will try one. Oh. Goal kick, Cougars. John Simmons goes all the way back to Butterfield, who is limping at this moment. Moses Steed heading it forward. Bassett sends it back in the other direction. Moses Steed around Hayward. He'll lay it off to Simmons, who goes back to Smith. To his right now to Butterfield. Good cross, but the offside flag goes up. We are now in the latter stages of the match. Only a few minutes remaining. And it's still Devonshire Cougars. One, St. George's Colts nil in this Friendship Trophy semifinal. Mark Smith looking for Moses. Moses goes to his left, sprays it out to Jesse Seymour. Seymour, fresh pair of legs. Oh, yes. Mark Smith, oh. Hall. Mark Smith unable to control it. Dickinson is chasing. Throw in Bassett. Oh, sure Cougars supporters breathe the sigh of relief there. Throw in St. George's far side. As they try to get something going here as the clock is ticking down. Painter heads it forward and into touch. Throw in big cats. Coddington really having to hustle and uh, after three tackles loses possession. John Simmons and Signor. Oh, he'll really be good if he could keep that in play. Good creative soccer, but was unable to keep it in play. Go kicks and Georges. What a feel. 
Douglas really hustling now as they know they're up against the clock. Oh. Franks raises his hands there. Throw in. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, punch clear by Brangman. Signal will send it right back. You can hear Cougar supporters saying, we got it, we got it, we have it in the bag. Watch. And that's the final whistle. Cougars will march on into the Friendship Trophy Final after a hard-fought 1-0 victory over St. George's Colts here at Somerset Cricket Club. It was a 65th minute penalty by their player coach Kwame Steed that uh, vaulted the Devonshire Cougars into their third final of the season, the Friendship Trophy Final. Will they advance to take on the North Village Rams? So they are now in the FA Cup Final and the Friendship Trophy Final after coming at the losing end in the Dudley E Final. So two interesting matches here tonight in the opening Shield semifinal. It was Hamilton Parish Hot Peppers 3-0 over BAA Green Knights and they advanced to take on Wolves in the Shield Final. And that's the way it is here at Somerset Cricket Club. Mike Sharp enjoying bringing all the action to you here on Bermuda Sports Network. And still to come, the all-important Caribbean Football Union Champions Cup match between the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force against the Dandy Town Hornets.